I'm Anil Kumar. We'll discuss few examples on permutations. Here we are given P114 equals to 7920. We need to find P117. You can pause the video, answer the question and look into my suggestions. Well, to find P117, you notice that 7 is 11 minus 4, correct? It is like same as P11. 7 could be written as 11 minus 4. Do you see that? Now we have a formula which helps us to evaluate such permutations, combinations, right? So the formula here is that P n, n minus r is equal to n minus r factorial divided by r factorial times P n r. So that's the formula which can be used to solve such questions, right? So those of you who want to copy this and make a note, it's a good time to pause the video, copy the formula and then solve this question, right? So let's apply this formula to solve the given question. So what is P117 equals to? So P117 could be written as 11, 11 minus 4, right? Which is P11, 11 minus 4 could be written as 11 minus 4 is this term, right? N minus R, correct? So we have the numerator as 11 minus 4 divided by R factorial, R is 4, right? So 4 factorial times NPR, which is 11, 4 is given to us as 7920. You understand? So, P117, 7, 7 could be written as 11 minus 4. N is, so from here you can see N is 11, right? And R is equals to 4. Substitute 11 for N and 4 for R. So we get 11 minus 4, I'm sorry, factorial, divided by R factorial, which is 4 factorial, times P and R, which is 7920, right? So P and R really means N is 11, R is 4, correct? So let me rewrite this formula here. So 11 minus 4 is 7, correct? So it is rather 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 7920. Is it okay? 7 factorial really means 7 times, 6 times, 5 times, 4 factorial. Since we have 4 factorial in the denominator, it's a good practice to stop there, times 7920. So 4 factorial cancels from numerator and denominator. So what we get is 7 times 6 times 5 times 7920. We can use the calculator to find this answer. 7 times 6 times 5 times 7920 equal to 166 3200. Right? So that's the value of P117. So we can write P117 is equals to 166-3200. Right? So that is how you can use a formula and find this result. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to ask questions. Thank you and all the best.